in an oral presentation isn't school, it's midterm torture. Only serious girly bonding can save us now. We'll relax with facials, move into magazine time, then finish with a money marathon. Oh, yeah! Hate to rain on the girly parade, but it looks like our report cards arrived early. But we just barely finished. Ugh, have I mentioned I hate technology? Don't worry, Al. I'm sure we all did fine. <sighs> you! All A's! I guess all those late nights cramming after missions really paid off. Mostly A's and B's. <laughs> in Metal Shop only counts if I want to be a blacksmith, which, uh, FYI, I so don't. Oh. <gasps> oh, Fs! But how is that possible? I've been working so incredibly hard this semester! Well, we have had 23 missions this month alone. Yeah, even Jer said we've been ridiculously busy this year. But you two did great! Why is this happening to me? <gasps> Alex, what are you doing? I may be an F student, but I know one thing. My parents cannot from them and I'll be wishing for baddies. Oh no, it's them! It's my parents calling from England! What do I do? What do I do? Oh. Oh, first of all, don't panic. Yeah, I mean, maybe they're just calling to say hi. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. All Fs? We're very disappointed in you, young lady. Very disappointed. Your father and I have come to a decision, since it's obvious we can't trust you alone in Beverly Hills anymore. What do you mean, anymore? We've enrolled you in Dorsal Academy, a top boarding school in England where we can keep an eye on you. Dorsal is known for producing some of the smartest students in the world. <laughs> Don't I get a say about this? No. no. <sighs> Alex, what is it? What did your parents say? news. I'm going to miss you, Alex, even though I know Joe will be good for you. Joe? Who's Joe? <laughs> Why, jolly old England, of course. I went to boarding school there and look how brilliantly I turned out. Not even gonna touch that one. Uh, what's with the suitcase, Jer? Oh, uh, right. I'm having my apartment fumigated for dust mites and need a place to stay. Uh, one might even say I'm desperate. One might even say, no way! <laughs> It's only temporary. You won't even know I'm here. All right, you can stay, but only under certain conditions. Uh, yeah, you can pitch a tent in the garden. And the upstairs is a strictly no chair zone. Capiche? I'm certain you're going to enjoy your time here. Hmm, maybe if these uniforms weren't so itchy. And not only will Dorsal boost your grades, we'll enlighten you in ways you can't even imagine. Cool. You're going to be a superior creature. Any questions? Uh, just one. Why is it called Dorsal Academy? 
The school is named after the dorsal fin of our marine neighbors, the mighty dolphin. A cleverly complex creature known for its superior intellect, superior kindness, and superior wit. Wow, guess you really love your marine mammals. Indeed. Now, here's your class schedule, a map of the campus, and a little history on dorsal. Well, you'd better get to class now. Yes, sir. My word, she is the perfect candidate. One might even say <laughs> superior. It is language class, duh. Hmm, I had no idea European languages were this musical. Guess we're stuck with the newbie. Hmm. Just stand here, don't get in the way. I'll have you know, I won gold for the Bed Hill swim team. Team Wilfin is the winner! Three years in a row. Wow, you guys are fast. <gasps> Rock fish? Awesome! I could use a little taste of home. Whole fish? But where's the sashimi? Where are the California rolls? <laughs> around here is you. <laughs> <laughs> right here. I just wish we had another mission so we could all hang again. <clears throat> Jerry! Think the guy would know how to use a microwave in the 21st century. Uh, no. We better go. Talk to you later. Miss you lots. Bye. Half an hour till my next class. Hey, I still haven't seen my dorm room yet. Maybe I'll have time for a quick cat nap to recharge. Wetness levels, temperature control, echo silencing? Wow, Joe sure has some weird water beds. Um, very dry, please. Cool, it's just like being back in Bev Hills. Maybe England won't be so bad after all. <sighs> dorsal Academy was named after the dolphin's characteristic dorsal fit. Guess I'm not allowed to take a nap in the afternoon. <laughs> I'm sorry, girls. I, I don't know what happened. Well, I do. You left your shaving cream warmer on and it set off the sprinklers. The entire kitchen is flooded and you ruined my hair. <gasps> That's Alex's distress signal. Weird. There's no answer. It's not like Alex not to respond. You'd better go to England and check it out, Super Spies. Great idea! Thought you'd never ask. Don't forget your gadgets. You'll need the ultra-sensitive hearing microphone communicators, the mini-bombs, the laser nail cap, and the brand new cherry-flavored bubble protection bubble gum. Have a safe mission. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Why do uniforms always have to be so uncomfortable and itchy? I don't know. It must be an international conspiracy. We should have Jared look into it. Come on, Alex's distress call's coming from the third floor. the weirdest waterbed I have ever seen. Let's just hope it never catches on back across the pond. I'm getting mildewy just looking at it. Ew. Alex never goes anywhere without her X powder. Something is definitely up. Hey, check it out. A photo of the school's headmaster. Let's just say his title is very apropos. Freaky. I say we pay him a visit and find out if he knows what happened to our best friend. Let's do it. Let's move from undercover reconnaissance to full-on spy mission. Wow, Headmaster Charleston really loves his dolphins. And Shaw, sure, he even takes vacation pictures with them? Oh, Oopsie! Clover, what did you do? What did I do? We're like, what did that freaky Headmaster dude do? around. You private schools are all the same. You just want to change everyone into exact copies of you. Granted, the dolphin thing's a little weird. Ah, I see you've met my family. Your family are dolphins? Crazy much. <laughs> After I fell off my family's yacht when I was ten, dolphins raised me. And what do these kind creatures get in return, hmm? Polluted oceans, fishing nets, and speedboat collisions? Well, not anymore! Let me guess, you're gonna change everyone into half-human, half-dolphins so they'll be more respectful of Mother Nature? Yes, with my Dolphinator. How did you know? I've been spending so much time around baddies lately, I've learned to finish their sentences. Problem is, dolphins are so cute and cuddly, it's hard to take your threats seriously. We'll see about that. Get there! What's happening? It's a bubble net. Dolphins use them to catch prey. And spies. Just when you think things can't get any stranger. Trust me, your ginormous head is never going to look good in any hairstyle. It's too late to reason with Alex. Let's just grab the Dolphinator so we can turn her back.
on you. Only twice. How's that saying going, Sam? Kind of busy for cliches, Clover. Hey! Whatever happened to best friends forever? It's impossible for land dwellers and sea dwellers to be friends. I thought dolphins were supposed to be peaceful creatures. didn't belong to you. You got A's and B's. We're so proud of you. Does that mean I can stay in Beth Hills? As long as you promise to come and visit us more often. Yeah! I can stay! I can stay! <laughs> <sighs> the best friends are back together again. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm even gonna let you watch while I get my free Manny Petties, courtesy of Sam. Oh. Wait, if those grades weren't mine, who's the poor sap who got all F's? grounded for the rest of the year, young lady, and that means no dates. You can't be serious! The boys of Beth Hills will be lost without me! Somehow, I think they'll survive. Yeah, that just means more for us! <laughs> <laughs> mission, it's always important to center yourself and relax with a nice round of yoga. Okay, now let's get started. Lesson number one, the lotus. First, you put your right leg over your left shoulder, like so. Then you put your left leg over your right shoulder, like so. Then you raise yourself up on your hands. Ooh! Lesson number two, always do yoga with the best friend. 